Steve Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner, Evan, and Bo. This is week four of the timing of the AIDS and the steps to connecting. Good, good. So Susan's focusing on keeping him deep in his shoulder, his neck. When you do that, you also have to add the back end. So you've got the right idea of getting him up in the base of his neck. Then you want to add the speed at the same time. That gets their back end to step under more so they can lift their shoulders more. Good. Think more energy from behind. Good with your legs. Hug, let go with the rhythm. So if you're doing the inside, it'd be now. Now when the inside hind is off the ground. Good, bigger steps. So you might have to give him half an inch of rain, whatever you feel like you need to do at that second of time so he can take a longer step. With him first, he has to be able to have the freedom in the front. Good, bigger steps. Bigger. Right there. You feel already got that little bit of suspension? Now you're going to play with keeping him up there in your trots. Good. Do some circles, and then we're going to start doing our ladder work. Feel him where he lost it? Good. He didn't respond to the whip. So you want to think, stop everything with your seat. You're going to do one thing with your seat and legs. Then you're going to get soft with it. Praise him when he does what you want. That's it. So you're going to think, when you use your aids, it's going to be for one step. Listen for the response. Let them flow. Good. Good, Susan. That's right. Feel that suspension. There. Feel the suspension. Okay. Keep that suspension. Good. Keep over tracking so you know, like six to eight inches. Woohoo! <laughs> Good. When you feel them get tight, just hug with your legs. It's his back. Good. Add some circles. Yep, you're adding your circles. Then you can do, do you want to dry leg yield or do you want to go right into traverse and shoulder in? Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so let's do shoulder in. Now the shoulder in has to be the same trot. So you want to, oh good Susan, keep the flow. That's it, and traverse is just haunches in, keeping the activity. Okay, you feel him losing the activity right there? That's where you've got to either give him a longer rein or let him go straight for just a couple steps. Good. That's right. Okay, there's your shoulder in. Nice. Get the suspension now. Feel that moment of suspension. You'll feel it goes a little flat right now. Good. So she's feeling the flatness. That's when he's not in the balance he needs for second level. That's when his shoulder needs to come up more from his hind legs. So when you feel that little suspension being dropped, it's when he's going back into like a training level frame. Good. And since we're not in training level, we want him to learn to carry his balance more for the second level frame. Good, good. Think half halt into half halt. Good. All right, now in the second level test, you have to do, a, I think it's a 15 meter circle into a traverse, into a shoulder in or something. Oh, nice. I like how you're preparing for this circle. Keep your hands close to his neck if you can. This is a big change for Bo to be able to stay on a connection and to step up from behind. Good boy. That's it. Talk to him. Talk to him. This is hard for him to stay connected like this. He would go around before and look like he was connected, and he was at many levels, but this is a whole, second level is a whole different ball. Very nice. How does that feel? Now keep that suspension. Keep the suspension. Keep your hand close to the neck. Good, good. Good. Come down the center line or wherever. Do a circle. And from your circle, you're going to go into a traverse. Yep. Haunches in, keeping this rhythm. So you'll have to really bring his haunches in. That's right, bring his haunches in more. Good, bring him in more. It's got to be a four track exercise. Good, his nose will go straight on the line. Good, good. Come down the center line, same thing. Traverse into a 10 meter, 15 meter circle. Good, more energy. Good. That's where you're going to have to think because you can feel him dis uh, disconnect from you. Think, what can you do to put him back together? Good, good. Praise him. That's it. Now just keep going from your shoulder in wherever you want to uh, the traverse. And you're going to use them to keep that elastic feeling in the step. Feel how much how much loose he is, how loose he is. Good. Now he's getting a little tight. So you're going to add either the feeling of the forward shoulder in or the traverse haunches in. 
to get him to loosen his back. Good. That's it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do it in the three steps. You're going to do one time collected shoulder into traverse. The second time a medium. The third time you're going to play with, play with the idea of a lengthening. Just so we can get him used to doing the different steps. That's good. Yep, right, keep your hands close to the neck. Needs to be a lot more forward. I know it's your collected trot, but that's all right. Good. Feel how you're getting him up in his back? There. Now you've got it. Now you're medium with the collect, yep, with the shoulder in and the haunches in. Praise him. Keep him flowing from behind. Very nice, Susan. Good. Keep the energy. He's going to drop it a lot at first. That's where he should be. Good. Get the energy. More. Till he has suspension. If he doesn't have suspension in his medium gait, right there. That's it. So now you're going to think everything has to be that suspension. That's where you can feel like he's got air time in his steps. It's like he's got a little spring right there. Good. Try to keep that in the shoulder in and high in the traverse shoulder in. Good. Good. Praise him a lot. Good. One more try. That was very good. Good boy, Bo.